Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable 10 hidden features on your iPhone using secret iPhone settings. Now before we get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. Now if you enjoy the videos please make sure to hit the subscribe button it really helps out a lot and of course leave a like on the video. Now we're starting things off with the music app so go to settings go to music and here we'll find a feature called sound check you probably never heard of this feature and of course have it disabled on your iphone because it's disabled by default make sure you have this enabled it doesn't have any description here of what it does but what it basically does is that it will adjust the volume of all the songs that you have on your music library now when you're playing a song you go to the next one the volume of the next song might be much much louder that way you could potentially even hurt your ears so of course you don't want to do that and make sure you have this enabled this will adjust the volume to be at the same level on all of the songs that you have currently on the music library of course on the stock music app of ios next up we're going under the camera settings so go to camera right here and you will have a section that says preserve settings now right here make sure you have enabled night mode now what this will do is that it will keep the night mode on the camera app always at the maximum so you know when you go to the camera app and you go to the night mode so this will be of course automatic when you go to the night mode here it will adjust itself you will see here sometimes one second sometimes maybe two sometimes even more it can go up to 10 seconds now if you want to have this always at the maximum you just go ahead and do this once so basically go right here under night mode and just make it at the max right here now currently it's max is one second because of course all of the lights right here but on any different environment it will always go to the maximum potential that it has so if it's really dark it will always stay at 10 seconds that way you will get a much much better picture Next up, we're moving to the Maps app. So you go to Maps right here under Settings. And what you need to do is go to Directions right here and go to Walking. Now, what you can enable here is a feature called Rise to View. So basically, you enable this. And then whenever you're walking, and of course, you have your Maps app and it's showing you the directions, all you have to do is just rise up your iPhone to your face and you will see, basically, on the real world, it will display you the route where you have to go so after you have raised in your iphone it will basically show you directions on the real world so you will see like the arrows on the street where you're walking pretty pretty cool of course and very useful as well moving next to siri and search go to settings siri and search and you will have here a section that says siri responses and when you go here you will have this option to always show siri captions what this means you enable that whenever you ask siri something any result any answer that siri will give you will also be shown as text right here on the screen so maybe you're on an environment where you cannot hear siri speaking you will always see the results right here that is of course super useful to have enabled now we can ask Siri something here and let's just test test it out what's the number of world's population and just like that you can see now we have everything here written on text on the screen and of course you will have Siri knowledge right there at the top as well if you just want to tap it and of course go straight to the website pretty useful always have any answer on your screen as written text the next feature is pretty interesting go to settings go under accessibility right here will have voice control of course you know about this feature but did you know that you can create some super useful custom commands with voice control so you go to customize commands go to custom right here and what you can do is create a new command now by creating a new command you enter a phrase here which you will use to invoke basically that action that you choose to do and then go right here to action and tap on run custom gesture now if i just do this right here and tap save i can use this to go to the next video on apps like maybe instagram or tiktok so let's just save this go to tiktok real quick next next and you can see just like that i can switch between different videos without having to actually touch my iphone at all super cool now here i have another one for the battery and the action right here 
is run a shortcut. So you tap right here and choose any of your shortcuts that you have. And then using just that phrase without even having to launch Siri, you can actually run that shortcut. So I have one for the battery. So basically it will speak the battery percentage of my iPhone. So all I have to do is say battery. So it will speak the battery percentage on my iPhone and that's super useful. Anytime, anywhere on iOS, you need to know the battery percentage. All you have to do is just say the phrase and you will get basically the battery percentage spoken to you. Super, super useful. I can do a lot of things with this, create a lot of custom gestures that you can invoke with only one word. Moving to the next feature again under accessibility, if you use guided access on your device, you need to do this. So you go to a guided access and you will have right here display auto lock. So basically, if you have the display auto lock enabled on your device, it will basically lock your device at the same time you have set it on the display settings. So it will be basically the same for guided access as well. But right here, by not choosing default, you can choose whatever you want here, any of these minutes or seconds or never, and this will be different for guided access. So when you're on guided access, you will have basically this different time when the device will turn off, of course, lock itself, and that will be different for when you're not on guided access. So right here, you can choose the display auto lock, which will be specific for when your device is on guided access. You probably know that on the mail app, you can actually mute threats. So you can mute different emails and you can do that simply by tapping the three, three dots right there and tap on mute right here. But what you can do is go to settings and go under mail and right here you will have an option to what to do with the muted threads. So you will have here muted threads action and you will have mark as read or archive or delete. So basically this will be done automatically to a muted threat. You can mark them as read. So anytime they come to you, you don't have to go to a new email. They will be marked as read automatically. You can do that or you can just go ahead and completely archive them or delete them from your device. Moving on next to the contact settings. Now, of course, you probably have the default setting on the way the contacts are being displayed on your phone and contacts app. But did you know that you can actually change that and you can do that by going to settings, go to contacts, and you will have here short name. Now, when you go here, you can enable short name right there at the top. You can see just like that. And you can choose what you want to use and how you want to display these contacts on your device. You can choose first name and last initial or first initial and last name, or you can choose last name or first name only. This is an option that you can basically enable for the contacts. Now this will be applied to the phone app, the list of contacts that you have on the phone, the app, and of course the contacts app itself. So pretty simple to use. You can even enable nicknames here. If they are available, you can then go ahead and use nicknames instead of the real name. Next up, we're moving to notes. So go to notes right here and scroll down and you will find here access notes from the lock screen. Now what this will do, it basically allows you to create a new note directly from the lock screen without even unlocking your device. Now you can see I have it on off right here. So the device is of course now locked. I can invoke the control center tap right here, but it won't actually allow me to create a note. So let's just go ahead and lock the device. Now what I can do now is resume last note or always create a new note. So if I tap right here, go to the lock screen, lock the device, you can see the device is locked, tap right here and I can quickly create a new note without having to even unlock my device or I can resume the last one. So let's just go back to settings once again. So if you choose to resume the last note, you will have then more options here. So you can choose to resume the last note that has been created after five minutes, 15, one hour after a day or never. So it will always stay like that. And you can see right here, resume last note. You can also choose to resume the last note that was created on the log screen or viewed in the notes app. So you will have a bunch of options here to basically customize that the way you like. And of, and of course, the way you need to have it. Last but not least, we're going again under accessibility. 
go to touch right here and you will have here call all your routing. Now what this will allow you to do is to choose where you want to receive your call. So let's say you might have a phone that has a speaker problem right here. Basically the ear speaker here doesn't work. You can always have your call answered on speaker without you having to do that manually. So whenever you receive a call, just answer it. It goes automatically to the phone speaker. That's pretty cool. Or Bluetooth headset, it automatically goes to the Bluetooth headset. Or of course, you can even leave it on automatic, but in this case, this will probably be most useful for people that don't have actually a speaker right here. Either speaker that is working that well, you can choose the speaker here and your, your call will go automatically on speaker. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and of course you found these features useful. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and of course leave a like on this one. I'll see you guys on the next video.